2K Sports and the PGA Tour are delighted to bring you the season-long race for the FedEx Cup. Today's coverage of the Valero Texas Open is about to begin. Pleased you could join us for this third round action. I'm Luke Elby alongside Rich Beam and Rich, this player starts their round in the lead. What's the game plan for them today? Well, you always have to love somebody who's got a big fat lead in their chances, but listen, we're playing golf and golf is uh, about as predictable as the weather. I mean, unless you got a 50-50 chance of getting it right most days. So this player's got to keep their nose out in front and keep doing what they're doing because if they even remotely slow down and think about what they've accomplished, it's all over. I know I can't wait. Let's get back down to the coverage. Absolutely tattooed that drive. Time for the second shot into the first. This one is chewing fiber. A wonderful shot and a chance for birdie here on the first. Of all the shots that I like the most, that one ranks right up there. Nice stroke. That's making a big statement here today. Trying to make a statement early and often. Currently in first position. Oh, I like this. The cover's coming off the big dog. Time to let it loose. Straight away for the most part, but there's a lot of danger both right and left here. The fairway bunkers down the left-hand side shouldn't really cause an issue. However, the second shots, the layup zone, there is a deep bunker on the right-hand side that could be brought into play. The third shot is to a green perched well above the fairway, and it's actually a double green. This green is also part of the seventh green. Rich, if players are long enough uh, and adventurous enough, they can go for this green in two. How hard's the approach? The green sits well above the player, so getting it home in two and actually stopping it on the green, that's a tall order except for the players that are the longest in the game. Anything coming up short left is a deep bunker. But to be fair, though, that's not a bad miss. Anything, however, going long, though, can be. The bunker behind the green is really, really ugly. got a chance well you're gonna be hard to catch now if you keep making putts like that that is definitely a confidence builder managing to maintain their position on the leaderboard here we are at the third you really hope that the wind is not blowing into your face on this tee shot and making it that much more difficult and longer this green is perched up high there's runoffs all around the left hand side and the back portion of it and obviously you want no part of coming up short players that find this green will find it difficult to two putt as there's lots of humps and bumps and swales in it super shot that unreal display this week with that wand he's currently sitting in first place Pretty sure this player will be buoyed by that birdie back at the last. Let's see if they can deliver another one. They have put some hurt on that ball. Send it. And what's in front of them there, Henny? I'd say he's about 165 from this flag. Going with the pitching wedge here. Yeah, good swing. This one's heading up onto the green for sure. That's an absolute ripper. What a shot. Made birdie on the last. Looking for a second in a row here. Good looking putt. 
Ooh, a couple of birdies on the bounce. Look who's on a roll. Kind of like it. Two in a row. He's feeling it. And maintaining top spot on the leaderboard after that. Let's see what happens here at the fifth. This hole is so important at this critical time. Go for it, lay it back. How much do you trust your swing? Oh, that is flushed. Get on the green. Well, oh, that was a boss move off that tee. Found the green in one shot. An eagle chance coming up. Not backing down one iota there. Luke, love the aggressive play. It's a bit disappointing. Five feet coming up to the cup. This is what they have left for birdie here. You can mark it down. That's birdie number four today. This player is putting for fun. And after that performance, they'll stay right where they are in the standings. Time to tee off at the sixth. Players must find the fairway, avoiding that bunker down the right-hand side. But from there, second shot is up the hill to a green that runs away from the players ever so slightly. But still, going in with a short iron into this par four, a birdie is definitely makeable. How close was that to going in the hole? Great shot. Now this is some ball striking. Hitting greens in regulation, it's a thing of beauty. This putt just five feet away from the hole. Now it's a lovely putt to make for Birdie. Take some pride in that one. And this is quality play, still on top of the leaderboard. And now striding onto the tee of this par three hole. Well, there's no doubt they'd have some positive vibes coming off that birdie. Let's see if they can keep it rolling. A wonderful shot here at the seventh and sets up another birdie chance. Mark it down. That's six birdies today. And now that finds him in first place. Let's see what happens here at the eighth. Not bad. Time for the second shot at the eighth. Well, this person displays the power game in pure fashion there. Two big hits there, knocking it on this par five and two.
This one looking really good. And he holds it. What a punch. Still in the lead now after that hole. Teeing off now on the ninth hole. Not a single bunker on this hole. Tee shot is fairly straightforward. Just hit it straight, find the center of the fairway. The second shot, however, gets a little interesting as this green is very deep, not very wide. Big runoff areas on both sides of this green. A par here is a solid number. That's a bit out of shape. Do you like the view from where you're standing, Henny? Sitting up here from about 160 yards. Looks to have opted for the eight iron. Can they get a little ground draw here? Wow, what a shot. Nearly doesn't get any better than that. Amazing shot. Always love these opportunities, especially when it's for birdie. And another one goes. And with it, an increase of his lead. And just keeping it in neutral on the leaderboard. And they'd be feeling buoyed with confidence after that birdie. Here's a good chance to maintain the momentum. Generous driving area on this downhill par four that dog legs slightly from left to right. Second shot will be back up the hill to a green that's well protected by three bunkers. This is a good birdie opportunity if you find the fairway. Second shot here on the 10th hole. <laughs> Nicely done. What's in front of them, Henny, with this putt? This is a 12-footer here. This for a birdie, birdie run. Oh, terrific. What an effort. That's a momentum maker, isn't it? Back-to-back -back birdies moving the right direction there, Luke. He sits in first position. Time to tee off on the 11th. Tee shots must be placed on the left-hand side to get the best view and angle for their second shots as this green sits below the player and moves from left to right. Tee shots down the right might be closer, but it's going to leave a sh second shot over a deep bunker and making it that much more difficult to get close. Playing this shot from around 120 yards. Opting for the 9-iron. Nine -nine. This one looks to be on a pretty good line. A wonderful shot. A chance for Birdie here on the 11th. In she goes. Let's head to the next. And maintaining top spot on the leaderboard after that. Let's head to the 12th hole, shall we? Oh, golf clap. That's a beauty. Well, that's comfortably on the dance floor. Well played. That is one of the best shots you will see. Heck of a shot setting up almost a guaranteed birdie. And there's no movement on the leaderboard after that hole. looking to ride the momentum after coming off a birdie here with this shot.
Yeah, not a bad shot, that one. What's in front of them, Henny? Yeah, they've left it in the perfect spot here, just below the hole. They can be aggressive up the hill. Oh, that was such a good stroke. And that will drop in for birdie. He's currently sitting in first place. Welcome to this hole. It's a par five. That's some good golf right there. From around 220 yards. Going with the hybrid. Yep, that'll work. That's fine. And this punt is about 17 feet long. This really looks good. For Eagle. And still in top spot after that hole. Keep it going. I'm pretty sure this player will be full of confidence now after that Eagle back at the last hole. around 110 yards to go. Going with the 9-iron, I think. Yeah, good safe shot, this one. That should find the surface. Mm, that's right out of the copybooks. Exquisite. Be nice to see this one go down. Let's see if they make it. And that putt will drop. And he'll extend his lead. Still in the lead now after that hole. Teeing off now on this par three. Only one other place I can think of, and that is the sixth at Riviera. A larger green than the sixth, but bunkers galore. Watch out for the one right in the middle. Well, this one's going right at the flag. That's a great shot here at 16. It sets up a chance for Birdie. And a fantastic look upcoming. Wonderful shot. Two in a row there, Luke, getting their groove on. No movement up or down on the leaderboard for this player. Always positive coming off a of birdie. Let's see what happens here. And that's a nice strike. This one should find the fairway. Oh, that's a big time play, Rich. Finding the green on a par four off the tee. You love to see it. Absolutely sets himself up for an eagle on this hole.
Didn't quite have the right stuff there. Butting for birdie. Looking good so far. Yeah, we'll take that. Currently in first position. And after a bird at the last, they take the honour on the hole. Pretty good shot there. And Henny, what's he looking at here? Well, I wouldn't mind hitting the shot, but I wouldn't fancy the walk up here. This is quite uphill. Going with the five wood. Well, that certainly makes putting a lot easier when you can hit a shot like that. This putt of about seven feet to the hole. Good stuff today, especially the short game has been really sharp today. On a nice line. Around now in the books. Good luck next time.